Tyrium and Satisfactory again. I thought I'd do a little video about uh, the progress of my experimental build. Release 3, not release 3, update 3, update 3. And uh, so let's just go through and load each one of these. It's my second factory that I built uh, in order. So here's the first one I've saved, 1 hour and 13 minutes. Let's see how this goes. And this isn't a race or anything, I just figured I'd put it up there to give people an idea. Uh, someone asked about how long did it take you to build the giant factory, I was like, well, I don't, I don't actually know. Oh, I mean, I know how long it took, but, you know, give you some idea of the milestone. So at an hour 35, I've got a couple of mines running, I don't even have splitters yet, I've just got uh, hand-fed factories, or no, no, these are, these are belt-fed factories. Um, Shortly after this, I think I got splitters, and then I started splitting them off. Um, and uh, tier one, I just got to tier one. So that's an hour 35. Let's see what the next one was. So here I am at 12 hours. This is, whole, uh, looks like coal plants are up. I've got several truck routes running. So this is the setup that I usually use for power plants. Uh, because they don't almost ever run at full capacity all the time, I've only got one pump just at 100%, and that'll produce like 120 cubic meters a minute. And uh, three power generators will consume, I think, 135 at full capacity. So as long as I have kind of a, you know, 80% capacity, uh, it's fine. It doesn't run out. But that does mean that when I get way up in the 80, 90%, 95% capacity, um, I start losing generators because <laughs> they run out of water. So that's not ideal. All right, let's see. Where are we at on hub tier? So 12 hours and change. Um, I'm working on unlocking tier 4. I've got some of tier 4, most of tier 4 unlocked. Um, just needed some wire and cable. Okay, so here we are at 26 hours. Need oil. I'll bet this is where I just unlocked oil exploration and I need to go and find some, hook it up, and uh, build fuel generators. Although, probably I don't have fuel generators yet. Let's see. Oh, yeah, there's some sort of weird geometry. Hey, uh, Coffee Stain Studios, you should fix your your LOD, there's some sort of LOD geometry over here that's not unloading properly. Alright, so here I am, oh uh, yeah, okay, so I'd gotten over to, uh, do I have a map? I do have a map! So here's my base, I've got coal, uh, you saw before, I've got a truck, a couple truck stations set up, one for sulfur and one for coal. I've got two coal things running, uh, sulfur and coal, I got uh, another tractor over here for Caterium. I've got Caterium, and then I, I ran over and found my way over to this spot, which is the closest spot for oil. So let's just go take a look at that, and then, uh, yeah, that's where I was at. So shortly after this, oh, oh dear, um, shortly after this, I actually, you know, it's just, you, know, you, can't, you can't kill me. I've got a save game, punk. You're just going to stand there and take it? Ow! Oh, you're gonna run away now, are you? I think not. That's right. Man, I was always so cautious, but apparently it's hard to die in this game. Ow! Oh, there you are. Yeah, you can turn around now. Man. Yeah, take it. Oh, okay, there you go. Yeah. There, I died. Um, okay, so anyway, that's the oil spots. And uh, I built one here and one here, I think. And there's another one there, and there's another one like up there on top that I haven't even used, not even at the end game. Just two two spots is plenty, at least for what I'm doing. All right, let's keep going. Need oil, need computers. All right, this is 33 hours, and at 33 hours, getting real close to the end game, um, but <laughs> not actually there yet. Apparently, it takes a real long time, way at the end. Or maybe I'm just bad at this. So here we are, 33 hours. Um, got 
factory running. Where are we on the hub? Tier 6. Just got the fuel generator unlocked. And uh, I need to... Oh, and I probably... No? Jetpack, monorail. Do I... Why does it say need computers? Oh, I don't have a computer factory. I can produce computers. Yeah, I can produce computers, but I'm producing them all by hand at this point. So this is right before I built a factory for the computers. Also unlocked the awesome store. And I've got 38 printable coupons from running stuff through there. I don't think I've unlocked any of this stuff. Yeah, I haven't unlocked any of this stuff yet. It was always kind of a... I don't know. I didn't realize that I would love... Okay, so foundation pillar and foundation extensions for the foundation glass. These are my favorite. Actually, foundation frames are really nice too because it's easy to build straight down with them. So these two, foundation expansion pack and the foundation pillar are chef kiss, my favorite. Really good stuff. I haven't even unlocked curb stuff and corner ramp stuff yet. I, I don't know. I'm not much into... Well, as you can see... I'm not much into, like, building a nice factory. <laughs> okay, let's keep going here. It's going to take all day. So this is this is the factory uh, right before I started automating computers. I've got... I don't have trains yet. So what I did for the oil spot is I've got an oil thing over there. I ran power lines, and then I built a uh, transit tube all the way over there. So I manually run over and bring back plastic and, and manually use it to build stuff. It's not great, but it's it works. It, it's what I did. Um, I've got my steel production over here, secondary steel production for pipes, and this is my heavy frame factory. This thing was running at, I think I knocked it down to 50% uh, later on, and this thing was running at 50% all the way to the end game, and I kept using, it never filled up this, uh, this container. I kept using it, I never ran out, but uh, I used them up, so apparently, at least at the rate that I build stuff, 50% uh, Heavy modular frame factory will do the job. Um, I don't know if there's anything else interesting over here. Concrete's boring. Uh, rotors are boring. Got motors over here. Oh, and this is before. So this is something that bugged me a long time. Uh, there's this little deposit of uranium. Oh. Oh, that's interesting. Well, that's very interesting. So there was a deposit of uranium here, and it bugged me the whole game until I got up to the level where you can, we've got the hazmat suit, because every time I'd wander around over here, like if I got on this side of this conveyor belt, if I was on this side, it was fine, but if I got on this side of the conveyor belt, this would start giving me radiation damage. And so apparently they've updated the game so that this is now a Caterium spot, which is cool uh, that it's not going to hurt me, but it's kind of annoying that now I wouldn't have easy access to uranium to build my pilot plant, uh, which we'll see a little later on. All right, so that was 36 hours, I think. Uh, let's keep going. Aluminum prep. Okay, so this is at 56, 57 hours. And uh, now I'm in the end game proper, I believe. I think I've unlocked everything. Mm, maybe. If I haven't unlocked everything, I'm very, very close to unlocking everything. Because aluminum is an endgame material. Ah, yeah, okay. So here we are. I've just built my aluminum. Is this done? I think I haven't... Well, it's not running. To set up the train station or something. Yeah, the train station's not set up yet. But I've built all these factories. So it turns out if you have six refineries producing um, alumina solution and two refineries producing scrap and what is it uh three smelters no what are these foundries three foundries and this is all at a hundred percent and then eight uh, what are these fabricators assemblers constructors eight constructors producing silica uh the maths work out so that everything balances perfectly and uh you get 240 i think 240 aluminum out the other side. Um, so this is right before I've finished setting everything up. Yeah, you can see I don't have all the, the miners. I need a miner here and a miner there. But I've got that miner running, and I need to finish setting up the the train station. And let's see, do I have the other train station set up? Uh, I need 
one over here. I do have the crystal source, so that's where the, the quartz crystals come in, or the raw quartz crystals. Anyway, the quartz comes in here, and then that gets converted into... Uh, yeah, raw quartz gets converted into silica on site, because it turns out 37 is bigger than 22, so it's easier to transport the raw quartz and then convert to silica on site than it is to transport the silica. Uh, so, I have that set up, but I don't have the... That AL import. Oh yeah, I was going to import the aluminum here, but I ended up turning this into a coke factory, I think? Uh, petroleum coke? Let's see. Let's take a look at that. I think it's petroleum coke. Yeah, petroleum coke. So I imported the petroleum coke from my petroleum spot, and I haven't set that yet up either, and then there's an aluminum import uh, train station over here at some point, and also I haven't converted my trucks into trains. Eventually, I convert these coal truck stations into trains because when the power goes out, then the truck stations don't load fuel into the tractors, and then the tractors run out of fuel like halfway back. And then uh, your truck station on the receiving end doesn't get hand coal, and then your power plant shut down, and your steel production shuts down, and then you lose power even more frequently because you don't have any coal production. So anyway, uh, I converted all those to trains eventually so that when the power goes down, the trains stop, but that's fine because when the power comes back on, they start right up, right back up again. You don't have to go find them. Uh, so that's 56 or some odd hours. Um, see, we're getting real close to the end here. 56. Waterfall dive is when I was setting up the nuclear plant right before I jumped off this waterfall because I didn't know what was going to happen. If the water would break my fall, or if I would just die, or uh, sometimes they forget to put a water volume in, you just fall out the bottom of the world. That hasn't happened in a while, but it has happened to me in the past. So here I am on uh, right over here. Right underneath this waterfall is a uranium spot, and that's where I'm getting all my uranium for in my final form factory. So let's go jump off the edge of this thing just to recreate what happened. So here's a bunch of dune bugs and over here oh look at that I didn't know there was this here I'll have to come back and huh found something new it's just like that's probably one of those Yeah, summer sloop. Summer sloop whip. No need for that. So anyway, uh, somewhere over here is the inlet to the cave with the uranium in it. Well, I didn't find it. And now I'm... Oh, see? There you go! Fall out the bottom of the world. What did I tell you? Okay, well, um, Coffee Stain Studio, consider this a bug report. nearly nuclear 85 hours so this is basically this is basically the end uh, I, I did that other factory tour at 88 and this is 85 which is more or less you know is it three hours three hours difference that's the time it took me to finally set up the nuclear production stuff so this is oh this is right before right before I turned these on I believe uh, we've got one plant here. Do we have the other plants over there? Let's go find out. Uh, we've got the lines. Yeah, yeah, this is right before I turned all this stuff on. So here's all the plants. They're all set up. All I gotta do is flip the switch and tell the pellet scow to start delivering to the station and then nuclear, in case nuclear pellets start arriving and fabrication starts on the fuel rods and everything starts kicking off. So I saved this right before um, I did nuclear. So there you go, that gives you kind of a feel for, and yeah, and all these things have been transferred to, to train stations now. So it gives you a feel for, um, for the progress. And then while we're at it, let's go a little into the future and load up something from after I made that other Endgame video. Load of late expedition. 94 hours. 
And this is after I'd gone out and uh, built a bunch more railroad tracks and explored a bit. I was trying to find more hard drives, but I think what I need to do to find hard drives really is just go to the other starting areas because that's where there's going to be a whole bunch of easy hard drives to access. Yeah, see, there's one up here that I'm getting. I'm building a rail out this canyon. But why does that mini keep popping up? Every time you load a game. So I'm building a rail out here. I built one uh, from here up to here. And I built one from here down through here over to here. And then I kind of explored it around this area a bit. And explored it around here a bit. But this is kind of a late game area. And so I feel like there aren't that many easy, uh, easy hard drives available. Whereas over here, I imagine there will be a bunch. So I'm going to work my way out here. Uh, put a rail line in all the way out to here, and then kind of scout around in here and see if I can find some more. But, at this point, uh, the main factory hasn't really changed much. Um, what I fix? I fixed a problem with my aluminum refinery. The silica had built up, so I turned down the production of silica just a little bit so that it would fall just slightly behind, uh, so that it won't build up again and cause that problem. That's pretty much it. So that's my endgame factory, uh, and kind of an overview of the progress and, and uh, what it took to get there and milestones. So if you are building your own factory, now you can compare yourself to me, because that's what you wanted, I'm sure. Um, anyway, Satisfactory. It's a cool game. I like it.